Hi guys, welcome to this Crypto Chiefs YouTube video. Um, we haven't done one of these for a few weeks now, so it's good to get back recording the content. Um, if you haven't done already, please don't forget to hit the like button on the video and also subscribe to the channel. That way you're going to get notifications when we post future content and we'll be looking at more coins again in the coming weeks. So today we are going to be looking at Bitcoin itself, the main coin. We're going to take a look at what's been happening, where we're at now and where we could be going from here. So the first thing is obviously we're in this seven month downtrend. So since the highs in November 2021, it's been pretty much non-stop bleeding out. And we can see that in the uh, crypto fear and greed index here. We've been at you know, extreme fear, bouncing between six and 15 really for, for days and, and weeks now um, as we continue to, to move down. So last weekend, we saw a whip down to the 17,500 level um, before we saw quite a, a strong bounce. So people ask the question, is this the bottom? Obviously, nobody knows for sure if this is a bottom or when the bottom is going to be in. Um, but this, this bounce here was almost exactly the same level as we saw in December 2020. So we're really trading at the level of 18 months ago now. Um, if this is the bottom, there is a potential that we're in this um, five wave move, which I will show you here. So running from here like this up to the higher and down to this low. And in this case, we could potentially see an impulsive move back up. Um, for this, if this does continue to move down and this isn't the bottom, we have to look for next for the 13,000 500 level of um, this wick here. If we break below that, this five wave pattern becomes invalidated. So the yeah, 13,500 level is the invalidation point of this. Um, if we take a look at what's been happening more recently, so since the move down last weekend, and this is what I've been talking about recently in the in the market updates, it's been um, been following quite a clear trend. The lower support trend line here has held intact, closed every candle above that um, for the past week now. And we um, we are currently with the, the EMA 50 level, which is this orange line here, had been acting as resistance. We have now flipped that and over the last few candles, we do seem to be confirming that as support now, um, which brings us to this triangle shape, which eventually we're gonna have to either break up from or down from. We have this strong resistance here at 21,700 level, um, which we need to flip to then look to move towards 23,000. Um, if we do reject that again, then we obviously stand the more realistic chance of a move back down towards um, 20,000. So obviously in the short to medium term, any further moves down, as I said, 13,500 level is quite a key level to keep an eye on um, for a you know for a potential bounce or an invalidation of the five wave pattern but until then we just we have to keep doing what we're doing trading safe level to level you know there's a lot of people out there that were telling you last year bitcoin's going to 200k or and now they're saying bitcoin's going to zero my advice is guys you know ignore the noise um, i don't listen to any of that i trade day to day level to level and in the Crypto G's Premium Group, we've had two weeks now where we've made every trade has have made profit because we trade the charts, we trade what we see, we trade the support and resistance, and it's as simple as that, guys. Um, we have to keep an eye, obviously, on what Bitcoin is doing price-wise because it affects the whole market. But, you know, the, the key thing is, is to just use it to your advantage, um, continue to trade safe, and to me, I always think it doesn't matter if Bitcoin's 5K or 500K, there's still opportunities for me to trade every day for me and the group to make money. It's as simple as that. So, yeah, we don't know when the bottom's going to be in, but we do have to confirm as well, um, sorry, have to consider the outlook of the whole economy, the financial markets. And, you know, crypto is trading more and more closely with the S&P 500 and the other the other main markets and we do have to um, think that over the next year the global economy as we come out as we've come out of the pandemic and the war is not in the best position 
Um, it could get worse before it gets better. Um, and we, until then, we have to, as I said, trade level to level. So thanks for watching this week, guys. If you've put in the comments below, any other coins you'd like us to take a look at in the coming weeks, um, we'll consider that when we decide what content we are going to provide for you next. Until then, trade safe and see you soon.